Buddy, how are you doing? This day I wanted to show you a special kind of video about how to optimize your hand training for arm wrestling. Now, a lot of people will try to say that the cup or the wrist flexors are the most important thing. Yes, they are, especially in the strap, but there are also different muscles for the fl finger flexors and this is wrist flexion and this is finger flexion and they are done by different muscles. Some people might say, yeah, if I turn my cup it's enough. No. If you can't engage your fingers, you'll never be able to use your cup at its full potential. Yeah, if we never want to pull like this in armor sling. Come, come here. Let's say we are coming to the table and our fingers open up. Obviously our cup will go away and we can't pull like this. We can't apply our pronation and everything. So we will be in a very bad position. Non efficient one. Yeah, we might grip high and escape a little, but you are very fragile. Now, how I like to train sometimes is to use the gripper, but not in the way you might think. The majority of people use it like this and that's for crushing strength we don't want that crushing strength especially with a kicked back wrist it's just going to invite kickback on the armor swing table big mistake only if you are let's say a king's mover then go ahead so crush strength will not carry over that much only let's say you arrive in the 18 kilo division this one has 20 kilos next weight if you can do with the gripper 80 kilos then it will have residual carryover and if you go in the 100 to 120 then it will have a lot but that's Let's go back, the video interrupted, I don't know why, maybe the cameraman doesn't know how to film. So let's continue. Now you can obviously use the grippers as in a special way to train, but this will train your containment, not your finger flexions. So like this. Obviously. If we work on our, our wrist flexors, then it will improve by 10% our fling, finger flexion. We want to grow the hand. A thicker and a wider hand will give the opponent a stupid grip on ourselves. See? Like this, like this. If we develop them, then they will have a bad time. How you can develop it in a very great way is to take a plate and pinch it. This way you'll use also the thumb and by pinching two to three plates then you will Add a lot, but it's an isometric and yeah, arm wrestles say do isometrics for us. Isometrics will have no range of motion, and that's not that good for hypertrophy. And when we are far away from a competition, we want to grow our muscle, and then as we come, come closer to the competition day is to also taper down and improve our peak force then 
range of motion is necessary. I also used the board. Now this is mostly for the formation, but it will also isometrically target them exactly like I will work with somebody. Great tool. Be careful with the owner part. Now a lot of other people will say the multi spinner. Well, the multi spinner. Let's attach it. I show the video to all of you how to wrap it like this, like this. Let's go for the supination one and this. This is going to improve your strap pulling, which not. Not, it will not target the fingers. Let me change the weight a little and put two kilos, two point half kilos because it's too much weight. I just finished my workout and I don't want to exhaust myself again. I need to recover. So good. Now it's placed, good, From here again, and wrap it, I want to show you that you can also stay like this and you can work, no finger flexion, I'll keep it like this, in their most stretched position. Nothing, nothing. You don't have to contain the multi spinner, which means that you will not work the finger flexion. Then there's a special way how to do it, and that's to wrap it like this. It will improve containment and grip strength. This, yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it and it will develop, but it's isometrically again. Again, you don't need that. Only if we are close to a competition. Now, there are also other ways like using the Mazrenko handle. If we wrap the Mazarin handle, then it will come like this. There's all the weight is patted like this in the contracted position, but we have to go with range of motion and if we leave it like that, boom, it explodes out of our hand. You can't keep it. Only with extremely light weight and wants it. Now, a special type, how I like to work it, is by grabbing a wrist wrench with a strap, come on this side, come right here, good, take the wrist wrench and put it exactly a little bit see my knuckles just right here and we take them in the most stretched position see the angle that's the angle this will improve your hand training and we take like this and we go like this from this to this Without cutting the wrist, because by cutting the wrist, we take away the tension. We can cut the wrist, but after we have done this and this. This position is for the contracted part. 
I'm 100% okay with it, better than doing nothing, but for maximum hypertrophy, then you need to go. Place it again and come like this. With a little bit of kickback, take it and hold it and now their maximum tension in the most stretched position. Hold it and go. Just like this. This is what I want. This is what you should. So, how to deal with this? Very easy. Give me the phone. Very easy. You take two wraps like this, two straps, two straps, them being separately, so what you need, the two straps, two carabiners, one strap that's pretty wide, sandpaper, glue and a PVC pipe. Drill two holes in the PVC pipe so that these straps will go through them. Tie a knot like this. Then take the strap, take something and stick them to the PVC pipe. Take the sandpaper, glue it and put it like this, then tie two knots again to really fix the carabiners in place and you're done, leave it for 24 hours to dry and you're good to go. Next, why does it help armors a lot to train the finger flex. Let's say you are a hooker and you want to contain someone top roll. Then you're obviously going to use containment to hold on. Let's say I'm a top roller in my leg. If I don't hold, then he will just disable my hook. But if I hold, he will neither slip out or I'll hook him and pin him. Next is if somebody has a great riser and you can just hold on to them, you'll be in the straps and it will make it very hard for them. So that's it for today's video. Give me a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe. Turn on the notification button to not lose any more arm wrestling tips and tricks. And bye, see you next time.